Hey y'all, it's Kassim with Solutions 8, and in this video, I want to show you how to exclude your ads from content that won't necessarily align with your brand, which can be really important to do depending on the type of business you're running. So, uh, for some advertisers, this isn't quite that big a deal, and for other advertisers, this is absolutely critical. Um, what's interesting about the Google ecosystem is it's very expansive, and so what has happened in some instances is people find their ads being shown on websites that aren't necessarily thematically appropriate depending on what it is that you're advertising. So uh, let me show you how to do that on a global scale right now. You can do this on a campaign by campaign basis, but um, if you're in your campaign, uh, excuse me, if you're in your account, uh, looking at your general overview under the settings, we're gonna go to not campaign settings, but account settings. And then inside of account settings, you're gonna see excluded content. And select excluded content, and now it's gonna give us a couple of options here. And these are all options of content types that we can exclude. And you'll notice there's tragedy and conflict, sensitive social issues, profanity and rough language, sexually suggestive, and sensational and shocking. Now, there's a risk here. Uh, tragedy and conflict and sensitive social issues are for sure most news sites. Um, news tends to focus on tragedy and conflict, sadly. Uh, the, the cautionary tale that I'd offer you up is just because your ad is being shown alongside something that reflects tragedy and conflict doesn't necessarily reflect immediately upon your ad. Uh, so I think it's okay to allow your ads to be a little expansive. The, the note that I'll offer you is the prospects on this site. So it's clearly something that they're proactively doing um, and they have no issue with. And uh, it, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to align your ad with whatever it is that they're seeing. Although there are those, you know, subconscious uh, neuro associations being built and I'll leave it up to you to decide how deep you want to dive uh, down that rabbit hole. But I would be just a little careful about excluding these two. Uh, the profanity and rough language, again, this one's a little bit tough because you know, have you read the YouTube comments uh, for most YouTube videos? It, 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 the internet is, um, doesn't have the same level of proxy uh, that you would expect from, you know, other, other uh, advertising and medium sources. Um, however, that said, I, I do think that Google has done a pretty good job at making sure that they're not, you know, painting with too broad a brush. So if you wanted to remove something that was, uh, had profanity and rough language and then sexually suggestive, I think this is one that, you know, ends up being kind of a pretty clear line. Um, Sensational and shocking, we're, we're back to news, but this is kind of the, um, the rag sheet. Uh, you know, the, this might not necessarily reflect on you know, your, your general mainstream news sources, but kind of moves into um, second tier news sources. One thing that's really worth doing um, is just diving into what it is that Google says about each of these, um, which can be you know, helpful to, to further understand if you wanna do a deeper dive. Um, that said, uh, you know, if you're a, a church or a nonprofit, um, or, you know, I mean, even if you're, uh, let's say, um, offering services that might, um, that might require a little bit more in the way of a sensitive touch, it, it can be helpful to make sure that you're excluding some of uh, the content types that you just don't want to be, uh, you just don't want to be associated with. So, um, I hope that's helpful. If you like these videos, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you want one every day, hit me in the comments if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or confessions. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.